23 EU nations took a major step towards forming a European army on Monday. They agreed to begin planning their defence, uh, they agreed to spend their money, select their priorities like one large power rather than 23 smaller ones. Now, not everybody in the European Union signed up for this. For a handful of nations, handing over this much control of their defence was a bit too much. Now, unlike many other EU treaties, this one has some teeth. Nations that don't do their part can be kicked out of this new exclusive defence club. The agreement, for example, requires signatories to regularly increase their defence spending. The Nation magazine wrote that the agreement calls for a massive increase in military investment and that it will pave the way for the deployment of European forces. The European Union's foreign policy and defence chief, Federica Mogherini, called the signing ceremony an emotional moment and said that it was a historic moment in European defence. Germany's foreign minister, Sigmar Gabriel, called it a milestone in European development. The deal among most EU countries is an effort to give the EU the same clout on military matters that it has long held on trade and economics, wrote the Washington Post. They also wrote that proponents say the deal is the biggest step forward in EU defence policy in decades and that it will open a path for robust military cooperation for years to come. Quartz was even more direct. They say that the EU was, in a way, creating a unified mega army. So this is a major step in these nations working more closely together. So now when Germany, for example, is deciding what they're going to spend their defence budget on, they'll do that with the whole EU in mind and what weaknesses and strengths the whole EU has. They're also going to now to be working together on developing weapons. So instead of, say, 23 different nations developing 23 tanks, there's going to be much more pressure on them now just to develop and put together one tank. Now, the deal contains quite a few practical steps, a few more practical steps that's going to help Europe work together. You can read more about those in my article, EU Leaders Take Historic Step Towards United Military on thetrumpet.com. And this is something that the world should be much more concerned about and should be paying much more attention to. I mean, really, articles discussing a united military, they're talking about the possibility of a new military superpower. It would be extremely naive to just to assume that this kind of new superpower is always going to be absolute, in absolute agreement with the United States, would never want to challenge the United States anywhere. You know, just a small amount of history should cause us to be concerned, at least, about the possibility of a new military superpower. But this is also something that's heavily discussed in Bible prophecy. There are so many prophecies throughout the Bible about a united European superpower. It's something that's really important to watch for. For why and for the good news beyond this, you can see our Trends article, Why the Trumpet Watches Europe's Push Towards a Unified Military. That's up there again on our website. Now, another piece of news, more specifically from Germany this week. German exports to Saudi Arabia and to Egypt have quintupled, increased fivefold in the third quarter of 2017 compared to the same time period last year. The German economy and ministry disclosed, disclosed the figures this week after a request from the left party. Egypt brought Egypt bought 300 million euros worth of weapons in those three months, and Saudi Arabia spent 150 million. The German government haven't said what they sold to Egypt, but the money from Saudi Arabia is probably for four patrol boats and 110 military trucks. The Trumpet has long forecast that Germany would increase its involvement in the Middle East. And these kinds of arms sales are a big part of that. They're building its alliance and its influence over there. For more on what's behind this forecast and why you should watch it, read our Trends article, Why the Trumpet Watches an Alliance Between Arab Nations and Europe. <laughs>